Tito, what did you see with uh, Savali? He just didn't come out commanding very well. Walk, a you know, four-pitch walk, a hit batsman. Before he had a chance to settle into the game, you know, he, he elevated a cutter to Stanton, and it's, you know, it's, it's three, and then there's an infield hit. Just, you know, the, I, I, you know, I felt terrible taking him out that quickly, but I just didn't think we could give up any more. And I knew it was a big ask with our bullpen. I thought they actually did terrific just to, to hold it kind of what they did. Other questions? Uh, Ron, we'll get you the mic. Knowing that it's hard a few minutes after the final out, how would you assess overall how far this group came this season, given where it started? Probably further than anybody except the people in that room thought they would go. I just reminded them of that. I know they're hurting right now because they care, and they worked unbelievably hard. But I hope as that wears off, they'll realize just how proud we are of them and how much we care about them. And I also reminded them that this needs to be a, a starting place for us. This can't just be a good story this year. We need to take this and go and because and, I think we have a chance to have something really special. And unrelated, the play with Jimenez in the fourth, why didn't you challenge it at first? We ran out of time. We've got Joel standing on the right. Uh, did you see anything lesser at all in Cortez on short rest, or did he look just like the guy who started in game two? No, I thought he threw the ball pretty well. I mean, you look at his the life on his fastball. He 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 still had that. You know, I'm sure they were keeping an eye on him because he was on short rest. But no, I thought he was thought he was pretty good. Uh, the third row in the middle. The uh, the Rosario bunt in the first inning was he on his own there? Did that come from the dugout? We don't give guys base hit bunts. Okay. And then um, any thoughts using Bieber at all early in the game after Savali got knocked out? No. And on your left. What was the big difference in this series, why the Yankees are moving on and you're not? They, they won th one more game than us. I, 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 don't, they're, they're, I don't know how to even begin to answer that. Every game is its own game. They beat us today. We pushed them about as far as we could, and they came out today and beat us so they get to move on, and we don't. Uh, Jason, on your right, Tito. You referenced asking a lot of your bullpen that the trio you guys rely on in the late innings, how do you feel like they responded? Was it a little bit longer than you were, you were hoping they were, you were going to have to use them? It was certainly a lot longer than we hoped. Um, but they, they, they gave everything. They emptied the tank for us, and – you know, you you start to you know you start to worry. That's so we tried to keep them around 30, 30, under thirty five pitches, and they all I think did that. But that was a big ask, and they did they did a they did a terrific job. They've done a terrific job all year. And was as you were going into this game, was Hentges always the guy that you you felt you were going to get the call after Savali if, if there was early trouble? There? Depended when in the game. Just you know, with Sam, he has the ability if he can get on a roll to maybe go multiple innings. They had a couple of really good at-bats off of him when he first came in that lengthened out that first inning that, that hurt his chances to go longer. Other questions for Tito? Bob, on your right. Tito, you got five really good looks at the Yankees in the last week. So what do you anticipate in this next series for them with the Astros? I have, I have, no, I have no idea. I have no idea. I <laughs> just... We're five minutes out, done from losing. I, I have no idea. Other questions? Uh, Barry? Tito, uh, it might be difficult to assess, but in a league where teams or franchises are spending more and more money on players, and you guys went a long way with the least amount of money of any team that got into the playoffs next year. What's this say about what you can do under those circumstances and how does that affect the franchise for the long term? Oh, God, I, I don't, I, you guys are asking questions that I have no idea what next year is going to look like. I just got done talking to a bunch of guys that are brokenhearted in there because we care about them. And they, they've shown that 
although we didn't get to our final destination, it's a pretty good year. And a lot of things happened that I don't think people were expecting. Where it goes from here, that, that's up to us. You know, we, we're going to have to take it and, and do better. Thank you.